Hey guys, it's Humble Spirit. Um, I just want to come really quick and uh, say that, you know, I really hope that you guys are, you know, wholesale paying attention to these signs that are happening because there is a lot that's been going on lately. Um, And, you know, our Father truly, truly is trying to warn us. And these all are warnings of the things that are to come, the wrath, the judgment of the Most High. Um, so, you know, as far as, like, uh, the loud booms that's been going on, I think that's been heard in, like, 64 different, uh, like, places, um, you know, that's, in a sense, guys, that's nothing but trumpets, that's nothing but warnings, that's nothing but, you know, our Father trying to wake us up, you know, what will it take for us to wake up, you know, um, I see, you know, a lot of people uh, are just coming off of celebrating Thanksgiving. You know, a couple of people went to um, Black Friday shop. And, you know, it's just really sad for me. And it's really heartbreaking in a sense, you know, um, being, you know, truly following, you know, our Lord's footsteps, you know. And seeing uh, all your people just out and consuming so much and doing exactly what the elite wants you to do. Um, You know, and then, I don't know, you know, I just feel like it's really sad. And, uh, you know, there's just a lot going on. And I feel like, you know, people should not be, you know, shopping, Black Friday shopping, you're looking for deals on what? These things that are going to burn? These things that, you know what I mean? That that benefit you nothing. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't do anything for you, these things that you're buying. I mean, it's, I don't know. You know, paying, paying for it with, with the all-seeing eye on it. I mean, I don't know, you know? So, um, like I said, the, uh, there's been reports of uh, insects, and birds, you know, kind of disappearing in certain places, foreign places, um, here, you know, everywhere there's been a decrease in bees and just like insects, period, and the insects that are still here, you know, like flies or uh, mosquitoes or things like that, uh, they have probably diseases or some sort of uh, deadly thing that they're carrying, uh, which is... I mean, I would say some sort of plague. Um, But, uh, you know, these things are happening, guys, for a reason. Like, our Father is really trying to wake us all up out here. And as well as everybody that does YouTube videos, everybody that does podcasts, everybody that's, you know, on the street trying to tell people what's going on. People can continue to, to deny it. You can continue to deny it. Every single day, guys, every single day of your life, you can try to deny this. But it's not, I mean, you know, you can't, you can only deny for so long. You can only doubt for so long. Our Lord is returning, guys. And he, you know, he's coming for who believes in him. He's coming for for his believers. He's coming for the ones that truly was walking in his footsteps. And if you're not, then you go down with this world. You know, this is not like this is nothing, guys. This is nothing. Everything, like I always say, is temporary here. Everything here benefits you none. Everything here, you know what I mean, is pretty much devil produced. And everybody goes along with it. You know, you sit there on pretty much a morning day you know, a day of sadness that we should be, you know, sad about our people. But instead we sit there and we eat, eat a feast that our Heavenly Father will not bless. So you're sitting there cursing yourself, you know, as if we're not already cursed enough. But, you know, you you do that and then you go out and you consume more You know, it's like, how much can you consume, guys? How much can you get? How much can you buy? 
I mean, you know, at what point are we going to wake up and be about something for real? At what point are we going to wake up and be about something, you know what I mean, that's really going to benefit us? As I keep saying, that's really going to benefit us. And it's not anything you can go out and buy. You know, I guarantee nobody today during their Black Friday shopping went out and bought a Bible. You know, like, where's our priorities as people, period, guys? Like, just because the world seems like it's not going to end, I mean, doesn't mean it won't. I think, uh, you know, as people, we go about life knowing that anything can happen in life. So why would we doubt that our Heavenly Father is coming back, our Lord's coming back? Why would we doubt that? Where would that even come from? You know, to doubt our Lord's return, you know, is is some sort demonic spirit speaking. That's not, you know, that's not really truly coming from a creation of our Heavenly Father, if that makes sense. You know, so... I mean, like I said, you know, he's he's doing all these things and showing us all these signs so we can wake up, so we can truly, you know what I mean, try at least now to come come back to him. Like there like time is is, you know, pretty much up, guys. And things are are really heating up and things are going to continue and things are going to continue to get worse and worse. And before you know it, I mean, you know, stuff has hit the fan, and you can't do anything about it. And I mean, our Father says, you know, that some people won't repent. And I understand that, but this message, I guess, isn't for them. But, you know, at what point do we, you know, come back to our Father, our Heavenly Father, our Creator? At what point, you know, do we start listening to Him? As we should have been doing our whole life. I mean, we would have been way better off out here, guys. Like I said, the elite just keeps us distracted. I mean, the elite keeps us so far from our Heavenly Father, it's ridiculous. They keep us distracted, like I said, with their with their holidays, if that's what you want to call it. Um, they keep us distracted with our, with all this, uh, sports. They keep us distracted with, you know, what new things it's come out, what new technology and, you know, whatever. And, and the thing about that technology is all you people that's buying drones and whatever, all they got to do is just say a little, you, you know, say a little trigger word or, um, put in a little code or whatever. And those things can, can turn around and kill you and nobody's going to be able to stop it. I mean, they do, um, uh, I don't know what they're called, but, you know, the guy's up there and he's on stage and he's saying, you know, whatever, whatever about whatever new technology and et cetera. Well, I mean, he's telling you exactly what is going on. He's telling you, you know, what the thing is, is going to do, can do, and et cetera, what they probably are going to do with it. So he's up there and he's saying, yeah, you know, like this is new technology and, you know, this, this thing can, can turn on you and kill you and nobody can stop it and everybody's like "Ooh, you know what i mean <laughs> like that's not cool like that you know that really like it's it's sad really it is you know once again we're doing this to ourselves what you know we can't keep we can't keep doing this guys like this place is going to become you know a place that's unlivable when i say the end of the world i mean the end of the world as we know it You know what I'm saying? The end of the world as we know it. The end of the world, you know, here, like, we're not going to be able, this place isn't going to be livable anymore. Why are y'all still out Black Friday shopping? Why are y'all still shopping anyways, period? Why are y'all still out here, you know what I mean, trying to get money and et cetera, when, I mean, it's about to become a place where there's not even any animals. It's about to become a place where half the population's dead. Half the population is is AI, artificial intelligence. I mean, come on. I mean, not that they, I mean, half of them aren't as is. Because, oh, you better believe there's a lot of clones out here. A lot of decoys out here, guys. So, it's, I mean, it's time. It's really, honestly, time to get real. It is 
it is time. I mean, you can't keep being out here doing nothing. Going to the club every weekend. You know what I mean? Going to school. What is that knowledge from, from this this earthly school? You know, what is this knowledge going to give you? Nothing. What? You think you can hand that, um, you, you know, hand that uh, certificate or whatever you are getting, that piece of paper, period. You think that, you, you know, you handing that, that over to our Father is going to get you in heaven or something? You think you can take that with you? You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, it. Like I said, guys, you know, it really breaks my heart, you know, to see, you know, the devil have so much control, basically. And, you know, but we've, but we've allowed it, you know, like I said, we're out here buying drones and et cetera, you know, once again, allowing, you know, this, this new age of things to roll in and we don't even blink twice about it. We're like, yeah, they say, oh, it's good for you. It'll help you, whatever, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, bring it on in. Then later on in life, we're like, oh, no, we actually don't like this. But what can you do about it? Like I said in, in a previous podcast, I mean, if we all were, were out here, you know what I mean, plowing our own land and making sure we all, we all have water and, you know what I mean, like working together, who's going to be there to even start up businesses to cut off your power? Who's going to be there to even do anything of that nature, cut, cutting off whatever, taking whatever from you? You know what I mean? Come on, our Father gave us this earth and this land, you know what I mean, for us. So, I mean, come on. Yeah, Eve did what she did, you know. But, I mean, and he handed, and, and yeah, our, our Heavenly Father handed over, you know, the earth to the devil. I mean, yeah. But that didn't mean that we had to follow along with every single thing he was saying. Everything, every single thing that he, you know what I mean, puts, puts out here for us. Our Father talks about the schemes of the devil and how we need to watch out for them. And all these distractions out here, what do you think that those are? So, I mean, like I said, guys, you know, I mean, if you're a straight up evil person, then disregard this message. (laughs) I mean, really, just being real. But, I mean, if you're, you know what I mean, a real person, a person that knows and believes in our Heavenly Father... I mean, it's more than just believing. You know what I mean? Faith without works is nothing. So, you know, like I said, guys, I mean, (laughs) oh, there's so much going on. I think somewhere there was like the sun was blinking. And our father says that the only signs that he's going to give us is the sign of, of Jonah. Jonah was inside of a whale for three days. And it was dark. (laughs) So, guys, think about that. I mean, I might come back and do a podcast on that, actually. But, uh, you know, um, yeah, the sun was blinking somewhere. Um, uh, It's, I think, on Thursday, it, like, flooded um, somewhere. Like, I mean, there's just so much, guys. I can't even, like, you know, just sit here and name it to you i need to actually write it down and then i'll just sit here and probably for five minutes just name every single thing that's going on if not longer than that (laughs) but you know like i said guys time is short and the devil knows it and he's out here and he's working he's busy you know what i mean it ain't like he ain't been busy already but (laughs) I see some of y'all addressing the devil, you know, not today, Satan, and etc. But, I mean, come on. What you mean, not today? Not any day. You know what I mean? Allow the Heavenly Father to be in your life. Allow Him to dwell within your household. Allow Him to be with you, walk with you every single day. But, um, yeah, guys, this is Humble Spirit. And uh, I hope you guys pray for understanding. And uh, visit my website, humblyspirited.com.
Tell me 